uh, Jason, would you say it is a fair weekend for a festival? You see what okay. I did there? Let's just just let's just, just focus on. Okay, let's just let's not ruin everything. Okay. Goes. Because we got unfortunately some unstable weather moving into the region. Ah, uh, no. That will be beginning tonight, heading through tomorrow, and likely lingering into Labor Day Monday as well. But so wear your babushka to the festival. Absolutely. Hey, let's go ahead and dive into the weather forecast for you right now, Northeast Ohio, and talk about what's happening here. Of course, we've had a lot of noise happening across downtown Cleveland because of the Blue Angels flying over. It's been absolutely amazing today. Pristine visibility as well. Average high temperature roughly about 80 degrees for today. 86 is what we hit. And of course, we've been talking the past few days of a warmth moving into northeast Ohio. Low uh, this morning is about 67 degrees. You can see over the next few hours, temperatures are not cooling down too much because we're going to have some really deep cloud cover moving into the area. As far as rainfall, rainfall for tonight, we'll kind of skirt around that at least for a little bit. I think the heaviest showers will be south of the Cleveland metro area. This is where we are right now. Lots of unsettled weather moving through the region at this hour south across some northeast Ohio, central and also southern Ohio. This is our next weather maker back towards the north and west with that area of low pressure, high pressure down towards the south. Ripe and ready is what I like to call it, is what we're going to be dealing with for tomorrow heading through Monday as well with more unstable air moving on in. A little bit of a light lake breeze has been moving across the area as well, right along our northern periphery, along the north coast. But I think at least for right now, it's kind of stabilizing things. We're beginning to see a little bit of pop happening up over towards Ashtabula County. But the moisture level is not too terribly thick when you look at the surface and also go up a few thousand feet. So that is what's really kind of keeping the activity subdued across the area. That is not going to last, though, and it's not going to last too terribly long. The North American model that I showed you at the top of the show is really going to paint in a very big picture as far as like heavy rain and rounds of it moving through areas along and south of 71 and also 77. Look at this Akron nearing an inch and a half. Worcester, I think this is a little bit aggressive for you as far as like rainfall accumulations are concerned. Over four inches, that's pretty high. Two and a half, at least for Mansfield, I think all in all. By the time we get to Tuesday, we can at least get at least one to perhaps two, two and a half inches across the vast majority of Northeast Ohio. So that makes you feel a little bit better. Here's the Euro model showing again what that looks like as far as rainfall accumulations through Monday evening, just as I said, one to perhaps three inches most across Northeast Ohio. Let's roll the clock for here. Your national design more hour by hour forecast again, staying relatively warm overnight, upper 60s, low 70s. Rounds of rain is what we call it because we have a very slow moving area of low pressure that will park itself across the region and just throw a lot of moisture right back in. We could have periods of dryness, at least for us on late morning. But look at this. It roars right back in the afternoon hours, the peak heating of the day through the evening and overnight hours. We'll have periods of rain stop and start. It's going to be a wet commute for some that have to go to work early Monday on the holiday, but we'll keep the showers threat around for us on Monday through the day and we'll have heavy cloud cover impacting us as well. We could have some peaks of sunshine sunshine on Monday, but not a lot. Upper 60s, low 70s as we package up this forecast for you. Look at high temperatures for tomorrow back into the mid to upper 70s, and I think we will be struggling to get to the upper 70s tomorrow as well, courtesy of the heavy cloud cover. Check this out. Here's your union home mortgage seven day. Once we get through Labor Day, Tuesday, we start to change drivers. Low pressure exits, high pressure hops right back in. Wednesday, Thursday, we go into the low 80s, and then by Friday, we could be peaking into the mid 80s because we have another frontal boundary that will be moving through. On Saturday, September 17th, I'll be at the Clean Water Fest presented by Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District. It will be held at the Sewer District's Wastewater Treatment plant in Cuyahoga Heights. Three News is a media sponsor and of course, as I said before, I will be there at noon giving away one of Linda Zoltan Woods painted rain barrels. If you guys join us in the 5 p.m. show on, on Thursday, you saw that rain barrel. It's going to be a free, fun family event. You can learn more at neords.org. Uh, Neo RD, all right. Thank you, Jason, for all that information. And we're going to see you right back here at 11 o'clock, huh? Yes, we will. All right.